So it's going to go right now. Not even to the 200 mark. Oh, this thing's just meant to go fast. That's about it. And uh, get to the top of the hill, apparently. Yeah. Oh, now it takes flight. Oh. <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to Beam and G Drive. In today's episode, we're going to be testing out the brand new vehicle added in to version 0.22, the Wendover. So they add Wendover and we're in the walk mode right now. And I figured out something yesterday. Uh, you can jump. Watch, watch, watch. <laughs> and not, not just jump. We can actually like crush stuff on the cars. Hold on. Oh my God. <laughs> we are a hefty boy. Hold on. I want to do that again. How did I do that? How did I jump so high? Hold on. I want to see if I can break the, the, the windscreen. Yes, you can. <laughs> oh, that's great. Wait, wait. You can kind of dent it. I think I'm denting it. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Hold on. How, how do I do like the super bounce here? Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Maybe that was a, a one-time deal. That was still pretty cool though. So uh, one more. There we go. Okay. Let's get in. Uh, I think the best way to test this car out is to throw it off the good old cliff map. We don't got, come here very often. Basically just when there's a new car added to the game. So you know what? We got to do it. Throw it face first down the cliff of doom here. And how much do you think is going to be be here at the end of this? I'm guessing not much. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I absolutely love the way this thing gets crushed, man. Definitely, definitely the most detailed car in the game by far. The way this thing crushes is just absolutely magical. Look at this. The hood is holding on for your, for dear life there. There we go. Oh, do we have all our tires? I think we do. Nope, we're missing our back, our back right. But besides, oh, there it goes into the ocean right there. Oh man, not much left of it. The engine still runs though. So there's that, there's the bumper as well. So let's get something a little bit more armored. Uh, something with a roll cage. I believe there is one here, probably. Maybe the rally one. Does that one have a roll cage? Hold on. Let's spawn this one up real quick. Yes. Okay. It does indeed have a roll cage. So let's see if this thing fares any better on the cliff of doom here. Let's go a different way. A different route. Right off the side. <laughs> yes. Oh. Okay. This, uh, this side's a little bit more gradual. I don't even think. Yeah. We're not even going to make it over here to the beach this way. Well, you know, maybe. Hold on. We're not stopped yet. We might make it. It's going to be a lot slower this time, unfortunately, but uh, we're not stuck yet. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're getting a little more speed. 15 miles an hour. That's not bad. <laughs> Come on. Here we go. Okay. We're going to get more speed here. It's, it's about to get a lot steeper, maybe. <laughs> okay. You know what? I think, yeah, you know what? Let's go the other way. That Not exciting enough for me. So I think this is the best spot right here into this chasm. Oh. There we go. That's that's more about uh, what I was looking for here. Keep it going. Keep it going. Yes. <laughs> it's holding up pretty well. Let's get an interior look. Oh, God. Yeah, not good. But uh, the, the roll cage is actually holding us up pretty well here. And here's where we get all the speed. Let's get the cinematic cam. Yes, sir. <laughs> so we can really get a sense of speed here. Oh, man. Yeah, holding up a, quite a bit better, though, uh, with the roll cage. There we go. To the beach we go. So that is the Wendover versus the cliff. Now, uh, there's actually some scenarios. There were some new scenarios added in uh, to the game. I'm going to check these all out in a video coming up, but there is a couple that have the Wendover in it. Uh, so I wanted to do those first. So I guess we're going to be chasing one in East Coast Chase 2. Uh, somebody just robbed the local gas station, witnesses say. Uh, they were leaving in a Sully at Wendover. Find and arrest them. All right, let's do it. We got a Hiroshi Sunburst, one of my favorite cars. So this should, this should be quick for sure. Should be, I mean. Whoa, we get some cinematic cameras here. Okay, so... 
Uh, yeah, we're chasing down a silly out of Windover, robbed the local gas station. That's a big no-no, so we're going to have to use lethal force, obviously. Whoa, it's even telling us where to go. Okay, yeah, the a lot of people were saying, like, the stuff that they're adding in the game, like the walk mode in this. Oh, God. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. Uh, and yeah, stuff like this uh, really points towards like an open world campaign mode, which I think is exactly what they're building up to. Who knows how long it's going to actually take, but I am absolutely pumped for it. And yeah, that especially like the, the road, like the GPS telling you where to go, that really tells me that they're building something like an open world type thing, which is going to be awesome. So let's take out this window for they're not moving too quick. Only 95 miles an hour. Let's just <laughs> send him in. Oh, wait. He might be okay here. Hold on. You gonna keep going, bud, or are you stuck? Nope, he's gonna keep going. Of course he is. Into a tree? No. Oh, we messed up his front right big time. Oh, uh, yeah, I know he's stuck on a rock. That's about it. <laughs> he didn't put up much of a fight. I gotta say. Okay. Ow, all this for stealing a bag of chips. You ran because you stole a bag of chips, man. Come on, dude. Come on, man. Let's try that one again. I want to take him out a little bit more aggressively this time. And by the way, why is my horn not on? Seems a little weird. There we go. There we go. We got to remember that turns coming up. I completely <laughs> almost did it again. Ah, I didn't quite blow through it that time, but uh, it's going to be okay. We made it that time. Where is this SOB? There he is. Let's, let's really give it to him this time. I don't even care if I take myself out. I just want to wrap him around a tree, you know, just because it's fun. Here we go. Here we go. Hope you're ready. Here comes the thunder. Oh, <laughs> oh I got him. Am, am I okay? I'm okay. Hey, buddy. How's it going? We're going to do this backwards, huh? Hold on. Let me see if I can whip it around. <laughs> Not really. I have no idea how we're still driving right now. Oh, God. Okay. It's driving fairly straight as well. There's something. Oh, yeah. His radiator's gone. But he is losing us right at, at this moment. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I can't. Okay. I can't turn left. That's one thing I can't do very well. That, <laughs> that's unfortunate. But I'm not letting, him get, not letting him get away too much here. Yeah. I can't turn right. I, which way did he go? I don't know. Okay, we may have sent it a little too hard on that one. Let's try that one more time. I know we already got him, but I want like a spectacular accident here. A very spectacular accident. Some, I want I want an explosion. All right, let's hit this turn. Beautiful. I was ready for it that time, buddy. I was ready for it. So he should be up at this bridge. Yes, sir. There he is. Maybe I should hold off for just a second here until we get to like the dirt path. So he doesn't have as good a grip. Maybe like, actually, oh, it's so narrow though. Hold on, hold on. Maybe I can, <laughs> oh, this is dangerous. Run him off the road. He's going to pit me. No, sir, you're not. <laughs> oh, oh, he flipped it. Oh no. You going to keep going? I don't think you are, buddy. I don't think you are. So not exactly a spectacular accident, but you know, we got the job done and he's going to jail over a bag of chips. Come on, man. All righty. So next up, we got East coast chase. Number three, uh, we received reports of a reckless driver and a custom Bruckle Legrand. Okay. So that's a Legrand. So we're going to skip that. We're going to wait, uh, for the video on all of these for that one. That is the, the uh, revamped Legrand though, which is pretty cool. So what, is that, is that a, uh, is that the new car? Hold on. Beamcom still hasn't fixed the internet at the police station. No more waiting on hold. It's time to convince them in person. Stop the van. I think that is the new police car. So we're going to go ahead and give this one a shot. I can't tell if it's a Legrand or the, uh, the window. I don't know. Let's find out. Okay. I'm pretty sure this is Legrand, but it's, it's the new Legrand. So I still want to try this anyway, just for the heck of it. Since we already loaded it in, we might as well. Where are we going though? <laughs> I don't know. We're looking out for a van of some sort, I guess. But where the heck is he? Where are you? I know you're out there. I know you're out there. Let's see. Um, where's the beam comm building? 
Is it over here? Oh, there he is. Ugh. Oh, we already got him turned around. Yes, sir. That was, that was more an accident. I didn't actually mean to do that. He's going to keep going, though. Where do you think you're going, man? Where the heck do you think you're going in that piece of oh, crap? I should probably wait till we're outside the city. I know there's no civilians, but usually you, you got to have a clear road to do the pit. So we're going to wait off just a little bit. And oh, he's actually pretty quick. Hold up. We got to turn on the nitro. <laughs> I know we don't have any, but we got to turn up the heat here. Oh, he's oh, no. Oh, he lost it. Almost. Yeah, he's going to hit the Ooh. Oh, he's driving like an absolute madman. Holy crap. Are you all right, man? Is the van okay? What are you doing, man? Oh, we got to put this guy down for sure. Just wait for the right moment here. Any second now. Any second. He's going to crash. Oh, he's going to crash himself. Oh, 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 oh. oh, he's not going anywhere. Or he's, I mean, he's gonna try, but you're not gonna. You're gonna make fun. Your back, the entire back of your van's pretty much gone, my guy. You're done. Jeez, well done. Hopefully, they do something more than turning it off, off and on the motor. You know, I'm not really sure about the motive on this one. Do we really need to use that much forge? Just because the internet was bad. I mean, yeah, yeah, you know what? Actually, that makes sense. Okay, so uh, stay tuned to the next video where we do all the new scenarios. But for now. I didn't do it in the last one, so we're going to do it now. We're going to take the new car, the wind over to the car jump arena and see which one can fly the farthest. Let's do it. Okay, so I guess it makes sense to go with the slowest one first, which I guess would probably be the 3300, which is like the standard basic interior. Yeah, four speed automatic V6. Let's try this one as a, <laughs> as a baseline model here. Still a pretty nice car, though. Uh, still pretty nice. I guess you could think it's like... um. It's kind of like a Toyota Lexus type situation with uh, Soliad. Like, yeah, Le Lexus is like a really nice Toyota, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's pretty much what's going on here, or like Lincoln and Ford. That's pretty much what it is. So it's like a nice version of like a, a, a Gavril, <laughs> I guess is what it's supposed to be. Anyway, we're going to almost hit the 300 mark in the base model, which is pretty darn quick. Oh, we got some speed going Oh no. <laughs> And we're just going to absolutely pancake ourselves on the uh, the lifeguard tower there. <laughs> Jesus, that was rough, buddy. Absolutely rough. So let's see if we can get a little faster. Well, we nearly made it to the 300 there. So it makes sense that if we go up a model here to, I guess, the 3800, the S3800, which uh, 3.8 liter V6. I guess, Is this one going to be faster? I guess so. It has a higher number on the name, so, and the S is for speed, right? Totally. Let's do it. And a nice, uh, baby poop green color to go with this one. <laughs> How very 90s. How very 90s this is. It looks like a car out of GTA for real. <laughs> I'm not gonna like out of San Andreas. Anybody else see it? Or maybe just me. I don't know. Anyway, we hit the end of the ramp at about 150, so that, yes, is gonna get us past the 300, 310, 312 something around there and i cannot control this thing oh <laughs> and a soft soft somewhat soft landing in the pool so there we go let's ramp it up quite a bit more this time let's see what else we got how about uh how about the sports se 3800 yeah let's see what that or maybe actually you know what Let's go to the four. You know what? We got a couple down here that are going to be really quick. So let's go straight to the uh, the 4400 V8 with the facelift because there's something cool about these that I didn't notice in the last video. Uh, the headlights, the way these things plop down is so freaking cool. Look at that. Bloop, bloop. <laughs> I don't know why that's so cool to me, but it, I don't know. It's cool. It's cool. It's awesome. I wish my car had it. Anyway, oh, this thing's got some power behind it. This thing's got some power. I think this is going to go past the 400 mark. Maybe. That's what I'm hoping for. 150. 160. 159. Pretty close. How far is that going to get us? Oh, no. 340. So not quite to the 400, but quite a bit farther than the uh, more basic models. <laughs> 
Oh, I just ripped the entire, oh yeah, the entire axle off the, the back of this thing pretty much. But yeah, we are going a little farther each time. So next up would be the, I guess we could go street tuned. This has got powerful V8s, uh, race suspension, aftermarket, aftermarket body kit. Okay. Okay, let's see how fast this thing can go. I don't, th I don't think any of them actually go 200 miles an hour, but this one is pretty quick. I didn't drive it for too long. Yeah, it's pretty quick. We're already up to 140, 150, 167, 167. That's going to get us. Yeah, the body kit's pulling us down. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, you know, that's going to happen. Oh, God. Just absolutely crunched. So, yeah, I think since this thing's so low to the ground and the body kit was definitely pulling us uh, downward on that one, which is probably going to happen with the, um, the hill climb edition as well. But I still want to try it. I think the race and the hill climb are pretty similar minus the body kit. So let's just go straight. I think this one's going to go the farthest. But let's go straight to the hill climb and see how far this one's going to go. I'm, I'm curious. I think this one's going to go pretty much straight down. <laughs> it's going to pull us straight down. Look at the size of that wing, man. It's pulling us right down to the ground for sure. But uh, here we go. 150. Yeah, this one tops out about 145. So it's going to go right now. Not even to the 200 mark. Oh, this thing's just meant to go fast. That's about it. And uh, get to the top of the hill, apparently. Yeah. Oh, now it takes flight. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. That was a that one was brutal. The, the <laughs> roll cage held up pretty well, though. I will say that. I will say the roll cage held up pretty darn good. Okay, one more, guys. The Fink Appliance 10,000. The kit. Or fat, I should say. Oh, yeah. And thank you guys for telling me um, that this was indeed that noise I was hearing was indeed the radar scanner on the front. I thought that's what it was. I, I, I wasn't sure, though. But uh, now I know that's definitely what it is. All right. Let's see what the fat can do. <laughs> How far can we go this? I need some wings to pop out the side of this. Get us past the pool. That would be great. All right. So there we go. 154. Past the 200, past the 300, just barely. Okay. I think that's about as far as we're going to get in this thing, at least right now. I've already seen a couple mods for this thing already, but there's definitely going to be uh, a lot for this thing. I can tell. Can we just, yeah, we can just pop out of the car. <laughs> Go for a swim. Oh, apparently we can walk on the water. <laughs> okay. It doesn't make a ton of sense to me, but you know, it is what it is anyway guys be on the lookout i'm gonna upload a video tomorrow with all the new scenarios uh because there's a good bit of them at least five I, or is it six i don't know but there's a lot uh so we're gonna be checking out those uh tomorrow i hope you guys enjoyed if you missed yesterday's video where we checked out all the new stuff in the update uh definitely give that one a click because there's some pretty cool stuff like this so you can walk around in the game it's amazing anyway if you like the video make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already and with that guys i will see you in the next one Bye-bye.